Hi, my name is Drew and I'm the Aspiring Master and today I'm going to talk about who the hell am I? Stay tuned. All right, um, I, I, I started this channel and there was a number of people that asked me, it's like, why, why should we listen to you? Uh, what, what credentials do you have? Um, who is the Aspiring Master? What is this all about? So I wanted to do a, a quick segment on just letting people know who I am, what I'm about, and uh, where I'm going to go with all of this. I've been in personal growth since I was about 15 years old. Um, I, was, I was raised a latchkey kid. I um, basically didn't have anybody around to, to uh, help me out. My mom was literally working till 10 or 11 o'clock in, in the evening most nights. And uh, so uh, basically my sister and I were sort of raised ourselves. So I, I tell everybody that I've been raised by bunnies because I have a really, really soft heart. I really believe that the world um, is, a, is a good place to be. I understood how love works um, from a very young age. And then I'm not talking about just love, like getting pat on the head or feeling pleasure, but um, that, that love was just a constant and understanding expression. Uh, I understood that, that we didn't understand, um, how love worked, compassion worked, anything like that as I was growing up. So I had a lot of issues with myself. And so I started uh, going down the, the personal growth path. I think I was, I mean, I was, I was 15 when I was really questioning myself. I went through a lot of stuff earlier on and, and I'm not going to go into it all here, but obviously I had some major ass pitfalls when I first started and I, I needed to figure out who I was in regards to the rest of the world and why everybody was acting and reacting so horridly to each other. And, um, so I started down this wonderful path of personal growth to figure me out, right? I, I started out actually to try and figure the rest of the world out and, and ended up finally, well, not finally, but ended up understanding it was not them. It was my reaction to them that was the issue. So I started out at 15 years old, really questioning that. It was about 17 that I went into a course, which was at the time uh, pioneering. And it was sort of uh, based around, I would say, Warner Earhart's work uh, of the, the Landmark Forum is what it's called now. But Warner Earhart's work uh, from Est from the 60s. Um, and turned into what was called the forum back when I was in personal best. Anyway, um, so I, I got into that and it was in personal best that I learned that I was the mirror and that people were reacting based on what they perceived in me based on their experience of themselves. And so from that point on, I really started looking at um, the way that I felt. I, I, I analyzed my feelings and I, you can tell I'm an analyzed guy, but I analyzed my feelings. I, I tried to, to figure out who I was. I, I discovered that I'm like three people uh, in the same person. When I looked at this, I'm the person that's observing the, the one that observes myself and then I'm, I'm also the person that, that talks back to me, right? Like that tells me I want this, I want that. And I'm also the person that, that ha feels that I need. Um, and the, I, I didn't know at the time what that really was um, until I started reading, which was years, years, years later that I started to really read because I didn't like reading. But I came up with a lot of concepts and a lot of understanding and really tried to figure out how um, we could get the world to come together to get to understand. So, you know, I, I did a lot of that work and then I started in my 30s to really start going into some reading. Now, I had already come across uh, a lot of the concepts that, that I talk about in a lot of these talks. I, I started to come, a, come in contact by observation, every, observing everybody else and how they react and responded to each other, but also seeing my internal dialogue, my uh, internal stuff that I needed to look at and that I looked at constantly. Like, I mean, so when I feel something, I go, hmm, I wonder why I felt that, right? <laughs> I wonder what that feeling was or if I got angry or something like that or reacted to something. I, I questioned myself as to why that would make me that. And so 
because I've done all this, this analyzing and because I've done all the work that I have just personally on myself, it, it behooves me. I, I would love to be able to share this. And that this platform gives me the opportunity to share a lot of the, uh, the realizations and understandings that I've come across and, and you know, thoughts and, and ideas and discussions and things that are real. They're not the surface stuff. They're not like I want stuff. Um, they're I want to know who I am and I, I want to know why it is that I do these things and I want somebody to be able to accept me for me. And, and it's that acceptance that really pushes me forward and not about people accepting me but knowing that I can accept other people. Knowing how to do that without um, telling them they should be something different. Uh, without saying what they're doing is wrong because it's that wrong and right that separate us and polarize us. And so I, I want to find a way to bring us together. So this is why I developed The Aspiring Master. Um, I've, I've watched this stuff since I was a kid. I've really, I've got a mind that does that, it, that really helps me with, with uh, parsing all of this information and, and putting it out there. I'm really passionate about this stuff. I really, really um, want to sh- not only share some insights that I have, because there's a lot of the times the insights that I have that people, um, the, the people look at me and they go, I never thought of it in that way. And once you think of, start thinking about something in a different way, it automatically changes you when you open up different perspectives. And so the aspiring master is about sharing that. Not only that, it's about learning that for me because a lot of the times when I'm talking about these things, some stuff comes out in such a way that I, I knew what existed there and I knew knew what it was, kind of. I was just at the fuzzy edges, but it just uh, coalesces into this, this solid mass of, ah, oh, that's what it was. So it's about sharing this wonder, sharing this, this awesome uh, trying to figure all of this stuff out and trying to figure out self as well as uh, how that relates to everybody and uh, really kind of look at bringing the world together just that little bit. And it's not something that I, that I say that I'm going to be doing in my lifetime, but it is something that I'm very passionate about. It is something that I, that I want to share with the world. It's something that everybody can take or leave. Like if you don't see any value in this stuff with me, walk away, call me a quack, do whatever it is you need to do. But this is my education. And my education doesn't come from a school. I didn't graduate from anything. I can tell you that from the time I was 15 onward, I looked at myself and my life and I looked at the people around me and I saw what we did and I questioned. And I, I, I actively searched for um, plausible explanations. I searched for what I, I, like there's a part of me that knew. I said, hey, we say we love each other, but we treat each other like this. What's going on? Um, so I really wanted to get all of that stuff together and, and put it into a coherent way of seeing things. And I also noticed that we don't even know what we're saying half the time because we don't even understand the meaning of the words that we're using. And so hence the five things that you need to know sort of came out of that to try and uh, define those. And I'm going to have a show called the aspiring master presents, which, um, is, is going to air on, on public television here soon. Um, I'm hoping I've got four episodes already taped, but I will have on a premium channel, uh, once it airs on public TV and 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 the rights revert back to me, It will be uh, available on a premium channel where I discuss a lot of these things that we're talking about in my my five reasons, uh, five things that you should know, um, five things that you should know um, shows. So they they will expand on that with an with another person or people that I interview that have really good insights onto these things as well so that we can really take a look at the words that we use and what they really mean to us and uh, how we can use them and mis- uh, how we use them and misuse them so that it gives us an option. Let's take a look at what it is that we're doing, what it is that we're, that we're defining words as um, and, and show that we can, when we're conscious of what we're doing and saying, 
we can choose to present a different part of us um, as opposed to just sort of reacting and, and not being a conscious person. Uh, once we, we have consciousness around something, then we have choice. If we weren't conscious of it before, we really didn't have a choice. The Aspiring Master is about sharing ideas, concepts, understandings, talking about and learning about all of these things. And that I'm talking about from my perspective, I'm learning all the time. Thing, people point things out to me that I didn't know before either. And so even in my conversations, they're not all oh, uh, the, the end all be all. They're conversation starters. They're get you think. Um, and maybe your interpretation is different. Hey, post it in the comments. I'm more than willing to learn with you. I'm more than willing to share what I've got with you. And I, and I hope that you share what you got with me too. And I, yeah, that's totally what the Aspiring Master is about. It's, uh, it's about sharing, it's about learning, it's about understanding, it's uh, about all of that. My credentials are, I've just been working on me since I was a kid and uh, hope to share the insights that I came to and hope to, to glean some more insights from everybody else out there. Okay, so again, my name is Drew, I'm the Aspiring Master and that's what the Aspiring Master is all about. Thanks for watching. Thank you.